Now, what can you do if you want to exercise your democratic right to vote, but you find there's no way you can have your say? That's the situation that 86-year-old Nikki Dunn found herself in as she went to vote for the prestigious, sometimes scandalous, Bird of the Year competition. The easiest way to vote is to go onto the Forest and Birds Bird of the Year website and just click vote on your favourite bird. Nikki wanted to cast her vote for her favourite bird, the South Island Tomtit, but she doesn't have a computer. So she got out her trusty pen and paper and wrote a letter to Forest and Bird Management to try and cast her vote anyway. Our very busy South Island reporter Logan Church picks up the story from the sitting room of Nikki Dunn's retirement home in Ashburton. I voted for the South Island Tomtit. And why did you vote for the South Island Tomtit? Well, mostly because he looks so cute and he's so wee. He's just lovely. I think I did see one once when I was on a forest walk, probably somewhere in North Canterbury maybe, but I couldn't tell you exactly where. Do you remember what it looked like? Uh, well, just that he's small, so small and cute and black and white. But you ran into some problems, didn't you, when you went to vote for it for Bird of the Year this year? Yes, I did, because there was always a sheet in the forest and bird that you could record who you wanted and post it away, but there wasn't one this year, and I don't have anything to do with computers, so I just couldn't vote. And what, what did you do? Well, I wrote to the magazine and uh, just said what I would told you. And I did say at the end of the letter that I know my vote won't be counted, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> it's the South Island Tomtit. <laughs> That's it. Are they counting your votes, though? I think so. I had a ring this morning, no, this afternoon, and I believe it's going to be counted. And what did they say on the phone to you? Oh, they were just kind of interested because I'd taken the bother to write. I suppose if you don't have access to a computer, though, and there isn't a natural form you can send in, you don't really have any other option no. other than to write. Is there? That's correct. Do you think that's a bit of a problem? Would be for some people, but I write letters all the time. But you, but you don't have access to a computer though, do you? No, well, I could if I tried, because some of my relations have computers and friends. Everyone does, I think, except old ladies like me. I don't think calling yourself old is fair. <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> and why, why the South Island Tomta over other birds? I mean, there are plenty of other amazing birds out there. Well, that's the trouble. There's so many you could vote for. But I just chose that one this time. Are there any birds that you definitely would not vote for? Well, not. I don't like the birds of prey, but I mean, they can't help what they are, can they? Why don't you like the birds of prey? Oh, because when I see them flying, hovering, waiting to just dive and pick up some poor wee animal, so, and that beak they have. It's quite um, sharp and piercing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So the South Island Tom to it is. He's just sweet. Would you like the organisers of the Bird of the Year competition to look at it, putting a paper form back out there for maybe next year's competition? Yes, I would love that. 
It'd make it a, a whole lot easier for you, wouldn't it? Well, not only me, other elderly people that don't have computers. But, it, I mean, I know a lot of elderly people who wouldn't write a letter. But I'm used to writing letters even to our local council. Do you write to your local council often? Well, not often, but, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes they need a rising too, don't they? I would think so. 86-year-old Nikki Dunn speaking to our reporter, Logan Church. If you were watching uh, that interview, uh, Nikki's letter to Forrest and Bird was retweeted almost 100 times and received almost 500 likes on Twitter. It was signed of, off by Mona, which is uh, Nikki Dunn's other name. Forrest and Bird assures us her vote will be counted.